So you said grades aren't really important uh, in our studies right now. Oh no, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like, uh, it is kind of important, but it's quite important for you to um, masuk benda lain juga. Yes. Like, macam join other Correct. stuff. But um, the way I grew up, um, grades are very important to me. <laughs> so I was kind of afraid to actually join join other staffs because um, oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> um, but you, you know, I was. How can you assure me to like, um, uh, as in make me like? How can you like, 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 yeah, and then you said, <laughs> and then you said just now uh, that you have to grab a chance when you have one. Yeah. And I know this is crazy, it's but okay. I'm I just going to try. Yeah. So when you get give uh, when you give a lecture in UPM, you sponsor. Stop! 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 stop. <laughs> oh, come on. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay? Just trust me. Come up here, come up here. Stand there, stand there. Just one second. Firstly, I'll ask you your question. Okay? I think you're super confident. You were brave enough to ask the question. Uh, what, what year are you in? This is my second year. Second year. What do you study? Uh, industrial. Industrial. Wow, that sounds tough. Um, <laughs> I got an F in chemistry. <laughs> now, let me correct before all the parents outside will want to lynch me <laughs> and say I destroyed all their kids' aspirations. Grades are important. You can't avoid not having good grades because we live in a competitive world, right? All I'm saying is it's not the only thing that's going to make you successful. If you have 15 A's, that doesn't guarantee you a success in your career. You have to be able to communicate, you have to know about the world, and that's why they say get out there and learn things, do new things, and stuff like that. And, but depending on your job, grades are important, right? So you do need grades, but I'm just saying don't devote your entire life to the book. Don't just lock yourself in the room, right? I mean, he's devoted himself to his wife. <laughs> uh, so, so, um, grades are important, but it's not the only thing. That's what I'm saying. What's your name? Okay, so I'm going to do something for you. Uh, right? I'm sending you to a dumb club. Uh, <laughs> now, what I want to do is, as I said, I want you to experience the world. You're wearing red. Very smart, um, and uh, as smart as Twanku. And um, I'm going to give you a chance to travel the world. Okay. Now, I gave in UPM one ticket, but I'm going to do something I've never done before. You can go to three different continents. Okay, but. Like Tim Mahasi said, um, you have to do some work for us, and Aziz will tell you what that work is, um, in that we want you to share your experiences when you travel. We want you to go and visit other universities and push the UTM brand uh, as to why this is great university. We will organize for you to go to the, some of the best universities so that you can push the wonderful school you're in, etc, etc. So you can start with Hawaii. You can then go to Korea. And you can finally go to Western Australia. Uh, okay? So, 
you can choose one person here to go with you. Uh, life is about decisions. You're going to be loved by one person and hated by the rest. So choose well. So wait, wait, wait. There's some conditions. Have you got a boyfriend? No. So you can choose any man here. One room or two, I'll decide later. Okay, so you, now quick, you have 10 seconds to choose. Because Asia is about diversity, so since I'm Mamate, I'll oh. choose some other race. Okay. Very good. And See, I chose the right person. She's smart. Okay, since I've been sitting over there just now, and I think there's this one person where I kind of like really like his semangat for today is the album in the green shirt. Yeah. I don't I don't know him, but yeah. he was very anti today. So yeah, okay, come up. So I What's your name? Huh? Srinivas. And what do you study? Mechanical engineering and a chemical engineer. Come, come to the front. Okay. Let's take a picture. We get closer. Okay, say hello. Okay, guys. Have a great time. Be the best. Bring us back some great material. Take lots of souvenirs at UTM. And uh, do your university proud. Have a great trip. Take care. Thank you. Have a great time. See you. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I'm in Oprah. You get a ticket. You get a ticket. You get a ticket. Everybody gets a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I never said that. <laughs> Well, you can try. <laughs> okay, so we've took, we've taken the first question. Can I, can I just one second? I just want to introduce. I want to introduce you my fantastic staff. Uh, I introduce you Jackson and Ibrahim, but I want to introduce you over here, Faisal, who's been with me for a hundred years and introducing the charge of government relations. Benji was an intern who uh, has done an incredible job for me. He's my slave. Uh, he's joined us as an intern and he's done so much. Aziz is head of communications. Who, you know, they do an incredible job. And could I please invite one of my cabin crew who was forced to come last minute? Two of them. I really have the best cabin crew and the best staff in the world. And we have head of Singapore as well with us. Just to prove that I like Singaporeans as well. Thank you guys. Okay, next question. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, Tansuri. Uh, just call me Tony. Okay. Uh, my name is Lai. Hi, Lai. I'm from uh, Faculty of Management. Okay. <laughs> okay, first question. Will I get a ticket too? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 Uh, I have a question to you on the uh, point of business management. Yeah. For the past one hour, you mentioned a lot of uh, Singapore Airlines. Yeah. How about Malaysia Airlines? How do you look at uh, Malaysia Airlines in your business? Is this still being streamed? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Malaysian Airlines is, look, we're kind of friends now. The CEO is a nice guy. Um, we're different. They are full service. We are low cost. I think there's been a time where we both try to be fighting each other. Well, they were trying to be low cost. But now I think, you know, there's a Rolls Royce, there's a Proton. There's a five-star hotel with a three-star hotel. So I think now, after 16 years, we realize each other's business. Not everyone wants to fly AirAsia. People want extra things. They want business class, they want loungers, you know. Um, they want cabin crew manufactured out of a factory. So basically, we now uh, collaborate. I mean, we, we, we hit different markets, and I hope we're both successful. And, uh, you know, long may that continue. Did I answer your question? One more. Yeah. 
Is there a possibility no. A Asia will merge with no. Max no. one day? No. no. <laughs> We're too different. We're too different. You know, that's like UTM merging with UPM. It won't happen. <laughs> so, no. We, uh, we're just different culture, right? So it's best we do focus in life is very important. And we are good at the low cost and they're good at full service. You know, every airline that has tried to do a full service, see Singapore has Tiger Airways, a stupid airline. It should be called Pussycat Airways. <laughs> and they got smaller and smaller and smaller. Now they're gone. They're called Scoot. They merged. So again, Singapore Airlines is damn good at full service. They're a good airline. I tease them, but they're a good airline. I fly them all the time. And the, the crew are fantastic and the pilots are fantastic. But they don't understand low cost. And so it's like me starting a full service airline. I'd be a disaster. So focus on what you know. You know? It's always better, like Abdullah, he focuses on one woman. <laughs> You can get two, three, four disaster. <laughs> Correct? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Lai. Good luck. Okay, thank you very much, Sonia. Uh, uh, guys, uh, uh, we're sorry. I, I, I did the five questions thing because we're operating on time. So we only have time for... Never answer quick. I'll do it okay, quick. Okay, so quick. So no more, please. No more new people lining up. Otherwise, we'll be here until five. So please ask the next one. Uh, Tony, are you okay, okay. with all of these? I'm quick. Okay. okay. Uh, just ask real quick. I'll ask real quick. My name is Muhammad Ahmed. Uh, I'm from Pakistan. Uh, such I don't have a question, but I want to be aware of this opportunity of getting at least 1,324 1, pictures, a few pictures. You are a successful person in your life, and I listen to lectures from the successful persons. But my dream is different. I want to meet those people who failed in their life. And I want to investigate them, why they failed. So my question is where I get these people who failed in their life. Okay. Politicians? Uh, <laughs> that's a good start. Um, so, I'm really in trouble. <laughs> Hey, you met one. I failed in many things, right? And uh, life is about both failure and success. And there's no one person that's failed in everything. Everyone has success. And there's no one person who's only had success. So the answer to my question is meet as many people as you can. Because life is about meeting people. I'm learning things all the time, right? I learned from Abdullah today on how he treats his wife. <laughs> you know, so if I ever get married again, he will be my consultant. <laughs> so, so life is about learning. So there's no one thing. So just keep meeting people, keep reading, keep asking, and uh, you learn a lot from people. You learn a lot more from people. And that's what I was trying to say to the first person and my point. University is about meeting all the people. And she was great. What a great person I chose as a prize winner. She did, she ticked all the boxes. She picked someone she doesn't know, and she might get married to him. Uh, this could be the start or something. Um, you know, and she did that. And that's what diversity, and that's what's great about our country. Okay? Oh. Oh, from KL. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, hi. Hi, uh, Oh, I didn't know you were up there. Hi, Hi, Can I ask many questions, but one of our students ask you one question, okay? Okay. We, can, we have ten, but never mind. Okay. Um, hello, sir. Hi. What's up? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, my name is Narisha Nayasabhas. 
student Karin Alisha and I'm from Malaysian Japan International Institute of Technology. Wow, that's so awesome. my question for you is like I know you've been through a lot in like all the difficulties, all the success, but then despite then just being an optimistic person, uh, what do you do in order like not to give up? Because you know it's to like you can go you can like be very optimistic to like a certain point but then there will be a point of like a break up point where you really can't stand it and what makes you to keep on going hmm. yeah except okay. despite being a, a, a optimistic person okay great so. question and by the way hello everyone in KL I didn't know you were up there <laughs> sorry how cool is that oh wow hello even more um, so uh, it's really people again. When when I'm down or I feel stressed, I surround my. I, I talk to my staff, and they give me a lot of motivation uh, to enable us to keep going. Oh, camera! <laughs> Sorry, this is too high tech for a low cost person. <laughs> I'm Asian, not UTA. <laughs> look there. Look here. I'm confused. <laughs> All right, I'll pretend I have eyes in my head, back in my head. So, um, why not? I think giving up is the easy option. I never like to give up. Right? It took me seven years to get KL Singapore. They kept rejecting me, rejecting me, rejecting me. I mean, the newspaper reporter said, you know, aren't you tired fighting for this route? I'm tired writing about it. <laughs> From banana and I said no I gotta keep doing it I owe it to my staff I owe it to the people of Malaysia that we can get cheap flights and we got it and now we're number one airline in Singapore um, so and that week, and that week. if they gave me a license I'd be number one airline um, so so uh, number one I think giving up is the easy option if you believe in something you don't give up you never give up Right? You just keep fighting for it. And number two, of course I get down. I get down when QPR lose. I'm fairly suicidal. Um, but, you know, I'll call up the manager, I'll call up Ian Holloway, and we talk about it and we feel better. I get down, I talk to Benji and Aziz and Faisal. So people help me get through um, tougher times. But the question is, the easy option in life is to give up. The tougher option is to fight all the way. Okay? Okay. Let's take question. Test it. Count three. Upstairs. Okay. Here. Oh, wow. You know, oh, there are uh, people everywhere. Behind me, side, top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my name is Hasnan. I'm from Faculty of Civil Engineering. Hi, Hasnan. Can you build me a new airport? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, my question is. Uh, uh, you see that there is an opportunity in the airlines in the past 15 years. Why are you going to see that uh, the next opportunity oh. in business for the next 5 or 10 years after oh. this? Okay, two. Health and education. I think health, uh, private hospitals are too expensive. Government can never look after everyone. So I want to do a low-cost hospital. Okay. What, what, what does that mean? Does that mean you get half a Panadol? <laughs> or halfway through the operation we say, sorry, you run out, please pay your pay uh, No. <laughs> it means that hospitals are as inefficient as airlines was. And that if you build a hospital that looks after, 80% of people have 20% of the diseases. So you focus on those 20%. You have, hospitals are so inefficient in so many things and I believe we can reduce the cost of health care dramatically so that the average man can have good health care and that takes the burden off the government so that people who really need free health can get it at the right time and people who can afford it and go to the private hospitals go. We shouldn't stop that. Everyone should have it but I believe everyone should have good access to health and so that's a dream of mine, I hope I get there. And I'd, same for education, I think everyone deserves a decent education. And uh, I believe that I have a formula for a kind of a low-cost school uh, doing video. I've got to finish AirAsia first, 
I've got a few more few more things to do, but if I ever get to finish it, then hopefully I'll do it. My father was a very left-wing doctor, so I would love to do this for him, because he believed medicine should be free. Um, he could do that because my mum made all the money. Uh, <laughs> but that's something I'd like to do. And of course, that's my own thing. Going forward, the world is all about data. It's all about artificial intelligence. Um, and of course, we always need buildings, so we always need civil engineers. Thank you very much. Okay, I think there are more questions than added up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, far away. I won't answer any questions from people wearing Manchester City shirts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Can I have my hand? Can you have my hand? <laughs> okay. I'll sign it later. Okay, next. Hello, oh. Yes. I don't know. You decide. Hello, Hi, Katsuri. Hi. Okay. Hi, Katsuri. Uh, I'm Romeo. Uh, Romeo Gavit. I'm not from any faculty in UC, but we are actually one of the winners for the Swiss Innovation Challenge. Oh, wow. Very so, cool. Uh, so we are, we are so um, blessed because we are involved with the Swiss Innovation Challenge. We already almost nine months for the innovation product that we present and we are become the winner for the international tracks. So um, firstly, one thing is actually I learn a lot from you, especially uh, don't miss any opportunity and today we have a big opportunity to talk with you directly even we are in KL. I don't want to miss this opportunity. And one thing I learned is we must be there to be uh, to have a big dream. So Tansi, one thing I request from you, since we are one of the winners for the international track for SIC and we are very as we are very confident with our products, one thing I have a request from Blockchain my as a Romeo, as a representative for our company, as a marketing director, I just want to have a slot with you, appointment to present our innovation so that our our products we can collaborate with Asia. This is my Thank request. You. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Benji will uh, somehow get your contact and okay. then uh, we'll fix it up. Congratulations on winning. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're approaching time, so what's going to happen is there's going to be one more from the audience who are there. And because our dear Singaporean captain has been the brunt of the jokes all day, <laughs> we need a question from him. So there are only two more questions. I'm sorry we can't do any more. Don't worry, I'll come back. So, I'll come back. So one, one, one more question from, from the people there. And Tony, please select because... Oh, I'm no, 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 no. Huh? You choose. That's your job. <laughs> I know your life is only your wife, but today choose something else. Now, now, um, yeah, no, 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 he's just put me in a spot. <laughs> and I can't do much because I've got a lot of people there. So, so I'm really sorry. I wanted to give it to, to, the, uh, to my colleague. Uh, oh, but, but uh, yeah, okay, yeah. To my, uh, to my colleague, uh, Shanti. 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 Dr. Shanti, give a round of applause, please. Hi, Tony. Hi. Um, I, I, I think I have a bone to pick because uh -huh. in your talk, you mentioned don't take so long or late in life to dream. I'm your age, I'm dreaming big now, and I just want to know, please, uh, what is Air Asia's policy for older adults? We're all baby boomer oh, generation, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm doing lots of research on aging and older adults in Malaysia, and uh, I, I think you shouldn't just focus on young people, you should also focus on the older adults. Sure, Jackson is 62. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, we don't. I, I didn't. I should actually. We should put it up next time, Benji. We don't. Age is not an issue for us at all. Um, we have Ashok Kumar, who's 64 or whatever. We took a lot of MAS crew that were uh, made redundant. Some of them are approaching 50, and they're like renewed people. They're so excited. They look fantastic. So, 
age is a wonderful thing because you have lots of experience. Erasure, I, I just put up the younger people because I'm old. <laughs> but, but there is no such thing. Age is a number. It's whatever you feel. What would you consider doing for the baby boomer generation in times Nothing. to come? Because we're the largest. <laughs> Yeah, Why should I, 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 don't, I don't know. people? What is your yeah, yeah. compassion My for compassion. those retiring and so uh, on? None. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you lived a great life. <laughs> no, all I can say is that um, no, we wouldn't give senior citizens or anything like that because that is one thing. I think age is a number. You can be 72 and just be fantastic, and you can be 25 and useless as well. So we don't want to discriminate positively, but I can tell you at AirAsia, we are successful because we have a huge diversity of people. Benji is like 10, so he puts all young people in presentation. But we have thousands of older people, and we do not discriminate. We're the only airline where there's no retirement age for females. Okay, and so... Which um, means you would also uh, reemploy. 100%, 100%. We do it with MAS all the time. And you know, the talent, the experience you have, money can't buy. We would be stupid to say, you know, oh, because you're old, we wouldn't hire you. We hired someone in the people department who was 66. Fantastic experience. Thank you. So good. Are you looking for a job? Yeah, just, to let you know. <laughs> just to let you know, uh, one out for Singapore, because Singapore re-employs retired uh, older yeah, yeah. adults. Yeah, but in Malaysia, we haven't got the policy oh, yet. No. To but, well, I don't know about that, but we do. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. And last question uh, by, I'm so sorry. by I'm so Captain Hannan. I am so sorry, but I just want to hand some letters to uh, Tan Sri Dr. Fernandez. Sure. I'm not trying to ask questions. Sure. Is that right? On my way out, just pass it to me. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Oh, you can pass it to Benji. Yeah. Don't waste time. Okay, so thank you very much for that. Uh, next, last question for today's session is by Captain Captain Cannon. The uh, yeah. Okay, he wants uh, to repent for working for Singapore Airlines. <laughs> no, I, I'm sure you'll be joking. <laughs> and we are different category, huh? <laughs> Low cost and uh, okay. Uh, one thing that is uh, same for you and me here standing here today is I'm alumni of UTM. Uh, I've been coming back here and helping out. And you're also alumni of UTM. Probably you don't realize that, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got a shirt. Yeah. And uh, my request here today is that we have a lot of things that we can do with Asia. Yeah. Yeah. And I would like you to come back here again and uh, we can do a bit more presentation and uh, tell the things. For sure. There's a lot of plans, you know, everybody have a plan, you know, especially all the lecturers. So my request here is ask you to come back ahead here again. And another request from my boys there in the room that you all like to take a picture with you later on. All right? Thank yeah. you. Thanks, you can. Um, you know, we, we had a, I had a piece of paper just now from... Uh, one more. One more question. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. And then, uh, I, I, I just want to say that... Um, uh, is there another question behind me? Uh, yeah, yeah. Firstly, 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 Hello, Tansri. Hi. I'm, uh, hi, Tansri. I'm Sharifa Asana, MJ, IIT student. I'm from Batang, Indonesia, Tansri. Oh, cool. Yeah, thanks so much for this opportunity. Uh, first of all, I would just like to extend my gratitude from the bottom of my heart uh, on behalf of the by providing destination to Padang, you really create uh, more job opportunities in Padang Tansri and you nourish the tourism in Padang Tansri. Very big applause to you. And I love you for the aircraft and then I'm the best friend of your uh, team, uh, Asia team. And uh, now I know why they have a very happy spirit there because they have a very big boss like you. Uh, your personality is amazing, Tansri. Thank you. <laughs> My question is, Tansi, um, what is your opinion on uh, Muslim family destination, Muslim uh, family uh, airlines? What is your, uh, your opinion on this? And uh, one more thing I want to mention, if you want to meet a uh, famous uh, Dambia singer from 
Thank you for the nice words. What was the question? <laughs> the question is what is your opinion on Muslim family destination? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I suppose then it well, in this plan Yeah, we um, Muslim friendly airline. Uh, well, our food is all halal and we don't serve alcohol. So I suppose that's the most Muslim part of us. Um, but, and we fly to Jeddah uh, many times. <laughs> okay, well, I, I just want to say thanks to the captain. I think it's fantastic. Well, I teased him non-stop and I'll continue to do that while he works in SIA. I think it's fantastic to see a guy who comes back and gives back to the university. And I think that's, I really applaud that. Um, you know, and remember your university, your school, as you become famous, because your experiences are like what Captain has done is so useful and worthwhile to all of you. So I really applaud you, Captain. I think it's very fantastic that you're very proud of your university. And obviously your university has played a big part in your success and you want to give back and I salute you for that, even though you work for several hours. Um, I want to do one more thing. I'm sorry I can't take any more questions, but Tonku has been fantastic sitting here all the time. I just want to do one more thing before I, I go. Um, I want to give something to my MC, uh, who's been really good. Can, can MC's wife come up? <laughs> is MC's wife there? Okay, MC's wife is there. Please, please come up. Can you run? MC's wife teaches at the school? Okay, very cool. Very cool. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Good to meet you. What's your name? Siti Salma. Is he a good husband? Yes. Out of ten, what you give him? Ten! I don't believe you. But never mind. Since he's been an amazing MC, I love his passion, I love his enthusiasm. You two can go and have a second honeymoon in <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> okay, provided VC gives you the, the leave. And the very last present I'm going to give for today is for the Vice Chancellor, two tickets to Bandung. <laughs> Do you have a wife? You want to go alone or with your wife? Okay, enjoy Bandung. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, UTN. Love you all. Thank you very much for your support. Sorry, I'm really sorry. We have to move. I'm so sorry. You have to get to you. I know. I'm so sorry. We really have to move. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Perhaps you can you, you can slip in after this just, just a bit. We have to start moving, yeah? Okay, I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't thank, I can't thank Tan Suktori enough. I'm still flabbergasted in Hawaii. I feel like I'm in a dream. <laughs> thank you very much, Tan Tony Fernandez. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we now invite the Vice Chancellor of UTM to hand over the tokens of our appreciation. So they're there right now to uh, Her Majesty Juan Ku to present to our speaker, Hansri Dr. Tony Fernandez. Your Majesty, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's premier lecture. Everybody's going, ah, come and do it, ah. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>
For Her Majesty, our distinguished guests, JPU members and deans, luncheon will be served at the back. We would like to express our deepest appreciation to Her Majesty, Raja Zari Sofia Binti Almarhum Sultan Ibrisha from Aisuri Joho, to Yambar Bahagia, Professor Dato Engineer Dr. Wahid bin Omar, Vice Chancellor of UTM, Yambar Bahagia, Tansri Anthony Francis Fernandez, distinguished guests, members of the audience, thank you for coming and making this event a success. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I give it to you. I give it to you.